Welcome to another edition of Biloxi A to Z, the insider's guide to what's happening in Biloxi. This is being recorded for Friday, January 26, 2024. Padford EMS is set to roll along the streets next week. We'll tell you when the new ambulance service will be in full effect. A special election for the Ward 7 Council seat has been set. We'll give you a timeline and important dates. Projects continue throughout the city. We'll tell you where you can keep up with the work. And we'll take a look at the weather forecast and some events taking place in Biloxi this weekend. We begin with the new ambulance service. We talked last month about the approval of the new ambulance service for Biloxi. That service, Patford EMS, is training and gearing up to be in full force in the city by February the 1st. Ambulances will be embedded in various fire stations providing basic transport and responding to emergency calls. The partnership will not only assist with response times and services, but will allow more positive outcomes to the responses. The Biloxi City Council has scheduled a special election for Tuesday, February 27th for Ward 7 residents. The special election is for the residents of that ward to elect a new City Council member to fill the unexpired term of Ward 7 Council Member Nathan Barrett, who resigned after being elected as the Harrison County Supervisor for District 5. Those interested in running for the Ward 7 seat have until February 7th to qualify. Those interested in submitting an in-person absentee ballot for the Ward 7 special election have until February the 24th. For a complete listing of dates and deadlines for the special election for the Ward 7 seat, visit online at biloxi.ms.us and click on the Voter Information tab on the left side of the homepage. The Biloxi City Council had a regularly scheduled meeting on Tuesday at Biloxi City Hall. During the meeting, the Mardi Gras shoebox float winners were recognized. Also, a number of items were addressed, including the approval for an uninsured motorist identification and stolen vehicle program to begin in the near future. Through the program, cameras will read license plates verifying if a vehicle has insurance. The goal is to reduce the number of uninsured motorists on the roadways. To see more, watch a replay of the City Council meeting. Just go to the City's website, click here, then click here. A number of city projects continue throughout the city, including paving, renovations at the Sanger Theater, and improvements at the A.J. Holloway Sports Complex. A status report of projects is posted online each week. Visit the city's website and click on the Weekly Reports tab to see the latest information. The weekly reports also include reports from the Fire, Police, Community Development, and Public Works Departments. The weekend forecast calls for a high probability of rain tonight, continuing through Saturday with highs in the upper 60s dropping to the upper 40s that night. The cold front arrives by Sunday, providing a sunny day with a high in the upper 50s and a low around 40 degrees that night. The Second Liners Parade has grown in popularity in the recent years with a great community turnout. This year they have a new parade route, so watch for road closures along and near that parade route. Second Liners Parade rolls through downtown Biloxi beginning Saturday at 1 p.m. The Biloxi Gun Show is back at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum both Saturday and Sunday with deals on new and old guns, ammo, gun parts, camouflage, and related items. Well, it's also a weekend for music with four big names performing in Biloxi Saturday night. With numerous multi-platinum songs and albums, the band Breaking Benjamin's success has continued with global influence and a loyal fan base over 20 years. See Breaking Benjamin perform live Saturday night at the Beau Rivage Resort and Casino. The Grammy Award winning rock artists known as Tool have entertained fans with elaborate concerts and dramatic videos for decades. See Tool perform live at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum Saturday night. The bands Great White and Slaughter performed for audiences far and wide for over four decades. Averaging over a hundred shows a year, they're committed to making the next show better than the last. Great White and Slaughter perform live Saturday night at the IP Casino Resort and Spa. Tickets to this event and all of the events mentioned are always available by visiting the various venues' websites. To see a list of what's happening throughout the month, you can always check out the Biloxi Community Calendar in the new January issue of B News Monthly. It can also be viewed on the city's website by clicking right here. We leave you today 
with some shrimp boats at the commercial docking harbor on a foggy afternoon. Have a great weekend and we'll see you again next week.